Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. This is Hill. And unfortunately, if you're hearing from me, I've got some news. So, if you have been following this series, you've probably seen Beyond Reach is the, the series here that I'm talking about specifically, that we have run into a bunch of problems with the quest not starting, dialogue options not being available, um, not being able to finish quests. And I have to take full responsibility for that. Uh, when I installed Beyond Reach, I also installed Beyond Reach tweaks and enhancements. And as I was experiencing all of these problems, I went on to uh, the Nexus to see if I can find some solutions. And unfortunately, the solution was to not install Beyond Skyrim tweaks and enhancements. So this is my warning to anybody that wants to play Beyond Reach. Do not install the tweaks and enhancements. Especially for this newer version of Beyond Reach that has added uh, more quests and whatnot. Because the old quest worked. We were able to complete the, the basics of Beyond Reach as it was originally uh, designed. But with all the new stuff that they added, I, I have no dialogue options to start the quest. Or, and quests that I have started, several of them I've been unable to finish. So, here we are. This is going to be the final episode of Beyond Reach. I have recorded, I think, two small little adventures. They were the last two that I could actually get to work. So once, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get this intro here, then you'll get those, those two brief little episodes, adventures, quests, whichever you want to call them. And then from there, we will be headed back to Skyrim. So again, I, I apologize for... I guess being a bad modder, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah, I apologize for screwing that up, and I'm sorry that you weren't able to see the full extent of Beyond Reach. I have to say, I mean, it it was interesting, I mean, the parts that I did get to play, and I hope I will get to play it again sometime, um, you know, when I do it the right way. But anyhow, thank you. Enjoy the conclusion of Beyond Reach. And I will catch you next time. Alright, come on, men. Our next quest is up here. Unfortunately, the last two quests that we tried to do failed. We're unable. Whoa. Cheers for that. I never thought Mara would bless me with a savior up on this desolate crag. Um, we were sent here to deal with the shaman. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't see you laying there injured. Aye, you're a brave soul than most. I'll stick around in case you need any help. Don't cause any trouble now. Really? You think you can help us in your condition? You all right? Mara Maul, you might want to put some healing on him. Come on, let's go.
Alright, there's trouble. It's ghosts. Look out. Alright, here we are at Belmore West. That doesn't look good. Ow! Oh! Ow! Where was I? I'll see you in pieces! It's coming from the sky. Oh! Somebody in here conjuring all this. Oh, Maramal. Blade, where are you? I'll see you in pieces. The smell of dank earth and worm eaten wood is going to make me lose my last meal. Okay, so we'll stop the enemies, but not the. Not this storm over here. Oh! Alright, let's knock this over. Uh oh. Alright, the thing's on. Oh, it's no, down. Care of the lightning, though. A deranged shaman. An exile. Oh, oh this lightning hurts. I can't search these remains. Okay, I don't know what else would need. Wait, did it just stop? The storm is gone. I guess it just took a while. Well. I think that does it. Well, let's see what other missions may be available to us. Come on. Okay, so we uh, completed another quest here where we uh, had to collect some pickaxes. Let's see uh, what happens when we turn them in. Overseer. Hello? Here are those pickaxes you asked for. Gods, look at that. Someone in the reach who kept their word. Must have had the legs of an ox with all that you've hauled. I'll chalk this up for those in the capital. May get another pickaxe peddler, ha 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 ha, on your way, knight. You've got grocks to train. May the reach show mercy on you. <laughs> all right, well. So much for that. All right, there may be a few more quests that we can do, Maramal before we head back. Oh, who's this over here? You, sir. Hello? 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 No, not any help. All right. Come on. All right, guys. It's time for us to finally go back to Skyrim. We've done everything we possibly could people not talking to us not giving us quests I'm sorry Maramal that we weren't able to do 
Mara's uh, work here. But I thank you both. And Blade has agreed to come back to Skyrim and uh, continue his adventures. All right, let's go. All right, here we are, Markarth and Mara Mall. Time to get you back to Riften. I'm sure your wife has missed you greatly. Let's see. Uh, we can take this carriage. Need something? Yes, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Oh no, I forgot about all these. These things here. I think the rift. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Take me straight to Riften. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Oh, it's been so long. Hope I can remember how to get around. All right, guys, let's go. You'll want to watch yourself in Riften. A lot of ways to get yourself in trouble in that town. Let's go on inside. We'll see how good buys. Well, you're finally back home, Maramal. What can I do for you, friend? I think it's time that uh, we part ways. And say hello to your wife. Make sure she knows that I got you back here safely in one piece. Good luck. You're on your own now. As are you. It's a good man. All right, Blade. Let me get you to Riverwood and introduce you to the rest of my... My crew. It was a long journey here. It is night already. Come on. Well, you all are a sight for sore eyes. It's good to see you again, Omar. And giant man, I see you haven't uh, found a remedy for your growth serum issue. But that's all right if you like being giant sized you know that's, that's perfectly all right um this is blade everybody unfortunately he is uh replacing jafar who died over in um high rock so say hello welcome him all right well I think I'm going to get some rest. And in the morning, you and me, Blade, we have some work to do. Some stuff that I need to continue to catch up on. Oh my goodness, my bed. I haven't seen this. It's probably been months. Good, mo Good morning, everybody. I still can't get over the size. Anyway, we we're going to have to go back out adventure. Oh, look at that. You shrunk back down. So you're learning how to control it. Oh, that's interesting. All right. 
Growth Man, Giant Man, Goliath. Pick whichever one you like. All right, Blade, come on, let's go. All right, here we are. Solitude, Dragonborn Gallery. Look, they've even closed the gates. It's been so long since I've been here. All right, let's head over here to the Explorers Guild. Hello. Good day. And how are things? Life's not so bad. I'm independently wealthy, though I don't wear it. So it's nice to just be able to wander about and take in the sights of solitude. I hear you. Enjoy your day. one day to offer her services in brokering the sale and purchase of artifacts. She brokered the purchase of Thornblade, in fact, and has supplied a few things I've needed for prepping displays and always seems to make good on her end of the deal. She may make a fitting quartermaster. She has traveled around and based herself around the Night Gate Inn as of late. Professor Patero Marissi, Marassi, an older Bosma gentleman and a colleague of mine from some years back. He is an expert archaeologist and much more of a field operations man than I am. I had considered him for a position as the chief relic hunter for the museum before you came along, but he wasn't interested in traveling at that point. I received a letter that he was going to be staying with a friend in White Run for a while, and he's reconsidered becoming involved with the museum. I think he would make a perfect chief of archaeology. Hmm. All right, here are some other people you may want to keep an eye out for in your travels. I'm uncertain where to find them, but if you do come across them, try, excuse me, try and remember their names as I think they may have some potential to offer the guild. Is it Kia Oldenson? Madras? A dark elf who seemed obsessed with Dwemer lore, spent an entire day in the Hall of the Lost Empires, taking notes and talking to himself. Seems harmless enough, though. The Toria, a Khajiit woman, mage, college dropout with academic passion. Good luck, my friend. I hope you can manage to find some of these people. There we go. All right, so. This is what I was up to, Blade, before I went off to uh, High Rock, Evermore, whatever you want to call it. I was trying to get this Explorers Guild going. And you're certainly welcome to be a member. I could always use the help. All right, let's go and see if we can't find some of these people. All right, our first stop here is White Run. I have not set foot here in months. Can barely see a thing with all this rain and fog. But I sense the person I'm looking for is somewhere up ahead. Excuse me. Oh, 
Hello. Well met. Are you Professor Morassi? Well, yes. Who wants to know? Orion Morellis sent me to find you. Oh, yes. That old bookworm up to his old games again. <laughs> well, what does old Orion have to say? He still has the Relic Hunter job to fill? Um, actually, no. I'm the new Relic Hunter. But we have another proposal for you. Well, go on then. I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Well, let me tell you about the Explorer's Guild. Well, that all sounds fine and dandy, but what makes Orion think I want to be involved? You don't? No surprise, I suppose. You aren't quite what I expected. Oh, come on now. I didn't say I wasn't interested. Just having a bit of fun with you. And really? what's wrong with my appearance? I am a field archaeologist, after all. I spent most of my time in caves and ruins digging in the dirt. Orion has to get all gussied up to deal with bureaucrats and fancily dressed merchants. I don't have to deal with those concerns, so why bother putting on airs? But yes, I am very interested. Oh. It would be nice to work with Orion again. It's been about 30 years or so. Dear me, time flies when you are a mer. Thanks for coming and finding me. I look forward to working with you in the future, my friend. I'll head to the museum and pay Orion a visit. Well, all right then, thank you. That went way better than I was expecting. Now, where did Blade disappear to? with his vampiric abilities could be invisible I have to say oh here he is it really does feel good to be back in Skyrim really good all right mr. blade let's see who, who we got next Here we are at the Night Gate Inn. Let's see, there's a woman here I need to talk to. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Oh, here she is right here. Excuse me. How's your day faring? Uh, good so far. So, um, Orion at the museum tells me you know your way around trading. Oh. Yes, I have been known to locate things from time to time. Orion is a good customer. Do you know him? We work together at the museum and are starting an ex we're starting an explorer's guild together. Oh, and he mentioned me by name? Yes. That he did. Thought you would make a good quartermaster. Interesting. I have entertained the idea of running my own shop from time to time. Being part of a guild would reduce my overhead considerably. I must, however, be able to sell to the public. Absolutely. You just have to give members a discount. Then it seems we have a deal. I assume there's a guild house? Or are we just going to sleep in the museum basement? Oh, well, of course there's a, a guild house. I built it with my own hands. It's attached to the museum. Orion will show you. I'll see you there then, Guildmaster. Very well. These people are really eager to... to join. It's a good thing. It's making my job easy. All right. Hello. Hey, oh, what's that? Uh oh. Don't you think you've had enough? Enough? 
What are you talking about? This is my first one. You look like you were three sheets to the wind, my friend. What, me? No, really. This is my first drink. It's... it's damn hammer's fault. Now I know you're drunk. I know, I know. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? I can't explain it, but whenever I use this hammer, I end up feeling, well, hammered. <laughs> the more I use it, the drunker I feel. Last week, I got jumped by some bandits, fended them off, but woke up here in the inn. Why don't you just stop using it? Stop using the hammer, you say? Yes. Well, that would make sense now, wouldn't it? It would. Problem is, this old girl and I have been through quite a lot together. And I've never been able to find a fitting replacement for her. <laughs> what if I gave you a replacement? Well, sure. If you happen upon a nice-looking hammer, I could give her up. It would have to be something special, though. And if you do, I could see fit to give my old hammer to you in compensation. Sound like a deal? It sounds good to me. Fantastic. You might check out the Smiths in Whiterun, Solitude, or Windhelm. They'd be likely to have something fitting, perhaps. I'll be here. <laughs> All right. So be it. And what you looking at, sir? All right, where'd Blade go? All right, let's let's keep going. Ah, oh, there you are. All right, I think we have another person to look for. Here, this is for you. Really? Oh, you shouldn't have gold and iron. Tell you, some people are just too kind. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Excuse me. <coughs> La Doria greets you. What's a Khajiit like you doing in a place like this? Thinking that this is funny, do you? Yes. This one does not think so. La Doria is wallowing, so leave her be. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you wallowing about? La Doria tries and she tries, but she cannot grasp the magic in the way that the college teaches. Hmm. So Latoria leaves the college to seek knowledge on her own. But the sources of ancient magic in Skyrim are in dangerous places. For Latoria to learn, she must commune with these ancient sources, rather oh, than what? reading about them in books. But as Latoria says, the places, they are dangerous, and she fears no good would come on her own. And so she wallows. What kind of places? Ancient Nordic tombs, ruins of the Dwemer, the lost places of the Falmer, all offer sources of ancient magic yet to be discovered. And what if I told you there was a way? You know of a way Latoria can safely commune with the ancient magics? Without Latoria coming to harm? What way is this? <laughs> well, Latoria, let me tell you about the Explorer's Guild. This guild? You are making it? Oh, Latoria would be so very happy to join and help if she could safely study the secrets of these ruins. Most exciting she thinks this would be. Thank you, Gale Master. Latoria will not let you down. <coughs> All 
Right. We will see you at the museum. Sir, are you getting all up in my business? <clears throat> all right, Blade. Let's get out of here. Some very suspicious looking people in here. over here with Calcimo. <laughs> Calcimo, it's been a long time. How are you? Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Oh, I'm glad we're still friends. It I bid you safe travels. It means a lot. And who is this man over here? Oh, look at those fancy goggles. What time is it? I haven't seen the sky all day. Uh, now I see why you're here. <laughs> you and Calcimo probably have a lot in common. So I hear your interest. You have an interest in the Dwemer. Me? Oh. No, why what? do you ask? Only because I'm here with one of the foremost experts on the subject in a massive Dwemer ruin. Why would you think that? Oh wait, yes, actually I'm very interested in the Dwemer, that's right. Why do you ask? The curator of the Solitude Museum told me about you. Oh really? Nothing good, I hope. Hmm. I, I mean, nothing bad, I hope. Nothing bad? He thought you might be interested in joining our guild. Oh really? What sort of guild? Well, let me tell you about the Explorer's Guild. Hmm, that does sound tempting. I'm sure I could offer a tidbit of knowledge or two about the Dwemer, and it would be nice to see more up close again. I think I'll give it a go, Guildmaster. Thanks for the invite. Oh, you're welcome. Wow, look at those goggles. I don't think I've ever seen a, anything like that. Blade, come on, let's go. Calcimo, you take care. And, uh, who, who is it? This is your nephew? Hello? I'm Calcimo's nephew. Yeah. I help him around the laboratory. Okay. Back to my studies, then. Yes. Good to meet you, finally. All right. We need to get out of here. And I think we have a few more recruits. down well just not content in my work I guess I'm just tired of digging for ore just wish I could dig for something more worthwhile and interesting oh it's really funny that you should say that I might be able to help you with that oh how's that let me tell you about the Explorers Guild Seriously? That sounds fantastic. Count me in. All right, very well then. Well, the 
looks like we've got all our recruits. I just wish I could keep up with Blade and... Oh, there he is up there. In the darkness. <laughs> Alright, Blade. It's time for us to head back to Solitude and... Get this Explorer's Guild going.